Welcome to the RingRx mobile app training demo. In this video, we're going to show you the basics of how to use the RingRx mobile app. After you've downloaded the app, go ahead and get logged in using your email address and your password. The first time you log in, you'll be asked for permission to access your cell phone's contacts. This is your discretion, and in this example, we are denying access. After you get logged in, you'll see the keypad, which resembles the keypad of any smartphone. To make a call, just enter the 10 digit number you want to dial and press the phone icon. After you dial out, you'll have several options to manage the call, including mute, hold, and transfer. To transfer a call, press transfer, then enter the extension number or the 10 digit number you want to dial, then press dial. To answer an inbound call, your phone will ring. When it rings, you'll be presented with options to answer, reject, or ignore. Reject will send the call straight to voicemail. Ignore will let the phone ring the set number of times before going to voicemail. You'll also see the same call management options as an inbound call. Here's an example of an attended transfer. This is a transfer where you can talk to the person you're transferring to before you put the calls together. Tapping on the History tab will show recent calls. Selecting any of the calls in the history will show details of that call. Contacts will show both your local cell phone contacts if you gave it permission, as well as those added in the RingRx portal. Tapping on the voicemail tab will show you all recent voice and fax messages. This includes any mailboxes that you share with a coworker. By tapping the play icon of a voice message, you'll see both the transcribed text of the message, as well as the play bar. You can add a note to a message just by tapping in the notes field and typing. To view a fax, just tap on the fax message. Use the left and right arrows to scroll through the pages. You can also check fax messages in your sent folder and voice and fax messages in your trash folder. Tapping on the Messages tab, you will see text messages. Text messages are sent and received in a similar manner as any smartphone. If you do not want to receive any calls, you can turn on Do Not Disturb. Just tap the icon in the upper left corner and toggle the feature as needed. When Do Not Disturb is on, all calls will go directly to voicemail without ringing your phone. Calls that come in will not show up as missed calls. Settings contains a lot of features. Most of them are set as default and should be left as is unless you have a special need to change something. Thank you for joining us for this brief demo. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can email us at support at ringrx.com and we'll respond to you promptly.